What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Imagining Tech. So today I was thinking a lot about marketing and the big role it should play in open source protocols like EOS. Um, at the end of the day, mainstream adoption will come. Um, EOS focuses heavily on building a platform that is user friendly, that can attract new users. And Dan Larimer um, has spoken about Dan Lermer being the chief technical officer of the EOS platform has spoken about in the past how he plans to launch a super big marketing campaign when the time is right. And EOS is able to not only um, onboard users but retain them because that's super important. You know, we once we we want to make sure the platform is stable enough, we want to make sure that the platform will be able to not only attract new users but retain new users because um, basically it's it's actually a really smart move when you think about it in the sense of block one has this huge war chest full of money like literally billions of dollars that they can use to fund like a huge marketing campaign at any moment so realistically they hold the key you know because billions of dollars like you could literally pay once let's say voice comes online you could pay like a big influencer on Twitter or you know just for example I like ninja like ninja has like a whole bunch of followers on Twitter you know he's obviously a popular person if he were to start using the voice platform then obviously we could see all his followers make that transition just to follow him and then from there it just kind of snowballs people learn about it they're like oh wow this is a superior platform this is doing what platforms in the past haven't been able to do which is um, pretty much get all the users switched over see the problem with having um, platforms in the past that were social media platforms because people have tried this model before where they create a new social media platform and they try to pay users to use it but the problem is at the end of the day, even if you pay a user to use it, people want to go where the attention is. So that's why YouTube is so popular. That's why um, Twitter is so popular. That's why Instagram is so popular because it has this thing called network effect. So people know that the eyes are there, that the attention is there. It's what people are used to. So in order to break people out of it, like you do need, it, it's very hard to compete on a platform that has high network effect unless you have billions of dollars and influence and EOS does so for them I think me personally I think that I think they're the best ones to launch voice I think they're the best ones to launch a social media platform just because I think that's such a hard industry to break into but once we kind of break into social media like I think it snowballs and like the rest of it becomes like a lot easier to break into I'll put it like that but uh, honestly like just having learned what I have about EOS like over the last several months EOS is actually really like not that hard to market like I don't think like some of the deeper stuff can be hard to understand but like I was thinking about it today like even the because somebody asked me, is it like, do you say EOS or is it EOS? And I always say EOS, but I always just assumed they were interchangeable. But the more I think about it, I think they might just be interchangeable. But I think EOS is the way you say it, being the cryptocurrency um, or the protocol. And then EOS is the ticker. I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's the case like if anybody watching this video knows for for fact if that's the case or if it's just interchangeable or what i think that's if that was intentional i think that's pretty brilliant because like every other crypto it's like super confusing like you have ethereum and then you have eth and then like people don't like literally people who i mean it's really not that confusing but people who don't know anything about crypto like they think you're talking about two different things when you say ethereum and when you say eth because you know and that's just one example of, of branding and marketing where you know I think potentially EOS would would do well 
um i think bitcoin has a beautiful brand like bitcoin has one of the best brands just because like it's bitcoin i mean it sounds exactly like what it is it's digital currency or at least it's supposed to be digital currency um and then the you know even the token is like orange um so it kind of puts you in the mindset of gold um so it has that digital gold feel to it and then it's like bitcoin it's it's bits it's and it's it's money it's coin so i think bitcoin has one of the biggest brands uh and the brand works really well and that's why it's been able to generate that's part of the reason obviously i'm not trying to take any of the um, massive innovations that bitcoin has brought to the table but i think brand plays a big role and I think Bitcoin has a beautiful brand. Ethereum, I really, you know what I really like when I first heard about Ethereum that really got me like interested. I did like the, um, what do you call it? The logo, like the little two pyramids. And then the name I thought was interesting. ETH, ETH, I never really thought that was that good, but like Ethereum just kind of paints the picture so perfectly. And I don't know if the team originally decided to do it like this or what, but to me, because I had been studying IT at the time, ETH sounds a lot like Ethernet, you know what I mean? So it sounds like a lot like an Ethernet port or an Ethernet cable traveling bits. So it's kind of like the Bitcoin, but like the next step, traveling bits through a cable and then like the Ethernet. That's what the Ethernet is. It's, it's layer two of the OSI. And then... Ethereum, you know, it just kind of just seemed like that next level, like all encompassing, like, you know, decentralized web 3.0, like it's, it's, you know, it's above, like it's on the application, it's on the software level, you know? And I was like, man, that's sweet. Like, I, I like that. Like, I like the way they did that. Like the name Ethereum is really good. And I think, again, like, I think that plays a big role. And EOS, like, I think that's a really, really good name. Um, the Chestahedron is really, really solid. You know what I mean? I love that for a logo. So, yeah, I think they did a really good job. I don't know who, who, who came up with the Chestahedron or anything like that, but they did. I think they did a really good job with that. And uh, EOS, I think when the time is right, you know, will be marketed to too high potential like I think EOS will will be one of those things where it'll be marketed so high that like whenever you think decentralized applications you'll think EOS like that like just how it's like whenever you t you hear somebody talk about crypto today obviously anybody in the crypto space knows that there's plenty of cryptos out there and it's not just Bitcoin but when you talk to a normal person about crypto it's like oh yeah Bitcoin Bitcoin yeah it's crazy like that e even people who are like supposed to be tech experts and like educated on this on the subject i've heard make that mistake and it's like wicked crazy i can't remember his name but i was watching um some news network like a year or two ago and it was one of the guys from shark tank and he was they were asking him about um crypto kitties and he said, yeah, I, I own a type of Bitcoin called a Crypto Kitty. And I was like, man, like that was hard to watch. Like, you know, I, I used to love Shark Tank and I don't watch that much TV. But Shark Tank was my show. But I was like, oh, did he just say that? Like, for real? Like, man, ooh. like a little homework, please. Like that was that was just. But hey, whatever. You know, he's he's, he's a smart guy nonetheless. But uh just to go on national TV like that, you know, ugh, and say Bitcoin is a crypto kitty, but I don't know. But I, I think EOS is going to be um, certainly, I, like I said, I, I, I think Ethereum will be here in the future as well as EOS. But I think Ethereum is going to play more of that, uh, that role of it was here first. So it's like all the hardcore crypto guys know about it. And all the hardcore techie guys know about it, but it's really gonna function underneath the surface, whereas EOS will be like where the browser is. You know what I mean? It's gonna be what the average person kinda like can can relate to a little bit more. 
that's just my prediction. I think Ethereum will be actually less known, but I I think it will still play a big role in the Web 3.0 stack. But I think it'll be kind of like um, EOS will just be like so. I think EOS is just what you're gonna think about when you think of DApps. But yeah, guys, that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to doing tomorrow's video. I think it'll be a good one. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one.